Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which I'm going to show you how to install Fabric for Minecraft 1.17. As you've heard it right in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install Fabric for Minecraft 1.17 pretty quickly, actually, because it's not that hard if you just follow my instructions. Before we do so, though, I want to let you know that if you do enjoy this video, then there is this button down below, which has the shape of a thumb pointing upwards. You just got to click it to let people know that this video is pretty cool, you know? Also, if you want to see more of these types of videos pop up on your homepage regularly, you know what to do. Hit that big red subscribe button. I would sincerely appreciate that. And last but not least, maybe you want to play Minecraft with your friends. Well, if you're actually interested in getting a server, use the link down below in the description. You'll get a really good, very reliable Minecraft server. You'll also support me. Please support me. All jokes aside, let's get straight into the video and install Fabric for Minecraft 1.7. Well, here we are on my desktop and the first thing you're going to want to do is actually, well, I already opened the launcher, but just open your Minecraft launcher. Make sure it's set to latest release 1.17 right here. If you can't find it over here because you have other profiles, just go over to installations right here and it should be right here. Just click play on the latest release and just let it download and launch the game. There you go. We're now in Minecraft 1.17 and now we are actually sure that we have 1.17 on our computer. Once you're here, just click quick game. So now the first thing we're going to do is download and install Fabric Mod Loader with Fabric API because I'm also going to show you how to install mods with Fabric. So you can either use the links down below in the description or open up your browser, search for Fabric Mod Loader. It will show you fabricmc.net. You just go to that website and then after that you can actually click the word here. It's very well hidden hidden, but you can click here and then there's an option to download a jar installer or an exe. Exe is easier if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac or any other operating system, you might actually need to use Universal. But for the purpose of this video and because most of you are on Windows, I'm going to just use exe. It's very straightforward. You click it, it downloads an installer. As you can see, it appeared right here. You click it. So as you can see, it's set to Minecraft 1.17 and the loader version should just be the most recent one. If it's you know, you're watching this video in the future and it's no longer 11.3, but like 12 point something or whatever. It's still fine as long as it's set to the latest one available. Now all you got to make sure is create profile is selected and then you just click install. Now it will say successfully installed. You just click OK. You can close the installer. The next thing we're going to do is actually download Fabric API. So it's actually very easy. You can either use the link down below in the description or just stay on this website where we already downloaded the installer from. As you can see, it says Fabric API here. This is the correct link. You just click it. You'll be taken to CurseForge. You just scroll down a little to where it says Minecraft 1.17 and you download the top one with the R, which is an actual 1.17 release. You just click this download icon right here. You'll be redirected to this ad page where you have to wait five seconds. You just don't touch anything just let the file download and once it's downloaded and if you are on Chrome it will give you this message this type of file can harm your computer it will always do that for mods because they are Java files just click keep here and now we actually have fabric API I'm gonna drag this over to the desktop real quick to make it very easy to move it into the mods folder later on go back into the browser and now we're actually going to be downloading and installing a mod as well so you actually know how to complete the entire process of installing mods the mod i'm going to be installing is called croptopia it's a fabric mod but also a forge mod but for now we are of course going to use the fabric version you just use this croptopia link right here or the one i put down below in the description once again you'll be taken to Curse Forge, and you'll see this beautiful page of the mod called Croptopia. Now, if you scroll down to recent files, you'll find under 1.17, it says Croptopia 1.17 right here. So all we got to do now is actually click this download icon right here. We'll be taken to an ad page where you have to wait five seconds and then the download will automatically start. There you go. It's another .jar file. So you have to click keep and that's that. I'm also going to drag this one over to my desktop to make it a lot easier, like I said, to put them into the mods folder later on. So now to install Fabric API and Croptopia, and of course you may be wondering why do we install Fabric API if we already have Fabric Mod Loader? Well, Fabric API is required by a lot of mods to actually work with Fabric. So what you do to access the mods folder is go to your search bar, type in app data percent, click this file folder or just hit enter. 
you'll find yourself with a bunch of folders here. Sometimes if you have a new account, it will not even be that many folders. As long as there's a .minecraft folder, you can just click it. You need to right click here, new folder, because we're gonna create a new folder called mods lowercase, just like that. Hit enter and it will create this folder. Just double click it. It will say this folder's empty, that's perfect. Now we're gonna drag Fabric API and Cryptopia in here, that's that. Now we can close this window, launch Minecraft, make sure we select the new profile called Fabric Loader 1.17. If you can't find it over here because you have a ton of profiles maybe, go over to installations and it should be very clearly visible over here. Now, if you're actually using a lot of mods, I wanna show you a simple trick. Click these three little dots right here, click edit, scroll down where it says more options. And in this bottom argument here, it might say XMX 2G for you or something lower. Well, if you actually have more than six or eight gigabytes of RAM in your system, you might even be able to crank this up to four. If you have more than 12 or 16 gigabytes of RAM in your system, you can crank this all the way up to six. Anything beyond that won't really work, but this will simply just allocate way more RAM to Fabric and Minecraft so your mods will run way better on your system. After you're done with that, just click save right here and now you will have Fabric with a lot more RAM. So now that that's all done, all you gotta do is click play here or come back to the main menu right here with this profile selected and click play. You get a warning that is something Mojang recently implemented. You just have to click I understand the risks, don't warn me about the installation and click play. What that basically means is because we modded Minecraft with Fabric and Craftopia mod, Mojang is saying they are no longer kind of responsible for the way Minecraft is going to be, which makes sense because it's not their mod and Fabric is not developed by Mojang. So as you can see, we're in Minecraft 1.17 slash Fabric modded. That's perfect because that already shows us we have Fabric installed. Now I'm gonna make this a little bigger and actually create a single player world, my first ever 1.17 world with mods. So I'm going to set this to creative because I'm just going to show you the fact that the mod actually works now. You click create new world. There we go. I've just joined this brand new 1.17 world. I can actually prove to you that it is 1.17, I think. There we go. That's deep slate and a whole bunch of other things. Where are the new blocks? Some of the new blocks are, yeah, right there. Copper and stuff like that. Amethyst, all that good stuff. So what you'll also see is there's a little arrow right here that says page one of two. If I go to page two, as you can see, here's all the modded items. So this is actually now implemented into Minecraft. This is how you install mods. Now for this video, I installed Craptopia just as an example and because it was up to date with 1.17, but you can replace that mod with a ton of other mods as long as they're updated for 1.17 this tutorial will work for any fabric mod for 1.17. So that's been it for this video. If you actually did enjoy this video and if this video actually helped you out in installing fabric with a fabric mod or multiple fabric mods for that matter, for Minecraft 1.17, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments whether this video was helpful or not. And then last but not least, of course, hit that big red subscribe button. Oh, and uh, use that link down below in the description to get a Minecraft server. Don't forget about that. And then without any further ado, I will of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya.